It's so much quieter these days without everyone around. Not that I'm pining for your return, you understand. I have my sources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it. What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? <laughs> Travelling to the edge of existence and back wasn't enough? Well, if that's the case, I might have a suggestion for you. You've fought bravely and selflessly, helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? Acquit yourself as a simple adventurer again, and travel the world in search of wonder. Oh, that's the spirit! I can feel from here the blazing fire that just lit in your belly. Now, all you need is a destination. If you're having trouble deciding, just leave it to me. Savner, that's where you should go next. I doubt you were able to squeeze in a proper tour of Rads at Han the last time you were there. What with the burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth. And I'm sure Vritra would be pleased to see you. Then there's the bounty itself. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration. So if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. Oh, I know that look. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. In anticipation of an occasion like this, I was planning to gift you a new set of traveling clothes, but it's, uh, still a work in progress. Shouldn't take much longer now, though, so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can finish another cup of tea. Stitching here and trimming there, not the threads with love and care. Just a little more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming with excitement. <laughs> I'm one with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders to my whims. Don't worry, I'll make sure the lining has plenty of pockets for all your little treasures. I swear adventurers are worse than children when it comes to hoarding every feather and leaf and animal hide they come across. Oh, we mustn't forget the waterproofing. Gods forbid you forget to disrobe before plunging into the sea or a river. Or a piping hot bath.
you're awake. My apologies. I do get a little carried away with my sewing. You seem awfully cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? Either way, I promise to provide you with new apparel, and so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the Diamond Forge, we can put the finishing touches on your outfit. Shall we?
Marshal, please, you must let me have that treasure map. What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister, still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? So, you hope to find your fortune? And what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought. Come back when you've more than rags to your name. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal III. One of the great star traps of Radzat Khan, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty, but you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is, discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days and lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches, and I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? How I shall envy the one who purchases that precious map! Whatever they pay will be but pittance against the golden hoard they stand to uncover. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Well met, my friend. Someone is dressed for adventure. But why Favner of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. Ruins beneath the bounty? Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site. With that sale, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir, but if you'll excuse me. You need 
didn't mind us. And now I've fleeced one of the heroes of the final days. Pray the sisters were looking elsewhere. This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. Lest you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part. It was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent, whether the map leads us to the vault or not. You are coming along, yes? I thought as much. Now, let's see about securing a vessel. 